Hey, it's your boy Bobby Beach here. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Tariq and Effie are supposed to be taking out Kane. I don't know if you guys remember it or not, but during Power Book 2 Ghost, Tariq and Effie were actually talking about taking out Kane. Now, this is something that happened when Tariq went to jail and he got out of jail. And if you guys can remember, he pretty much was at school, but then he had that, like, that, um, he had a lot going on like none of the Tejadas came to him no one was coming to him no one checked on him the only person that was there for him when he needed them was Effie Effie was the one that came there she was there for him the whole time like, it, like and I tell a lot of people this it be the times when you going through it be the people who be by your side are the ones that you're gonna you know ride with. those are the ones you're gonna trust and sometimes you got to be careful because sometimes that person can either be there for you in your best interest or they can be there to try to use you know use you or whatever because people some people like to come at you when you're weak but in terms of Effie, Effie actually was there for Tariq so it, it was a it was a big situation there but at the end of the day if you guys can remember um Tariq came back he had an ankle monitor on everybody was avoiding him Lauren the hottest everyone but the 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 it's it's a situation where they were talking about taking out Kane Kane became the focus now why was Kane the focus it was because Kane was the reason why J Tariq went to jail anyway because he was the one who planted the badge in inside of Tariq's room and he was also the reason Tariq got arrested. So when it comes down to it, the conversation was pretty much about um, taking out Kane and the fact that Kane needed to pay. Now Tariq of course did got into an argument with Brayden because Brayden was the reason why Kane was able to put the badge inside of the room and they had it out with one another but at the end of the day it wasn't a situation where Tariq just you know did not want to do nothing with Brayden. It was a situation more of Brayden, you know, admitting, yo, I should have did this, should have done that, but it's okay because at the end of the day, these are the people he trusts the most. Now, when it comes down to it, he was talking to um, Effie, and Effie and him was talking about taking out Kane. When it comes down to it, um, Kane, like Tariq said, he knows he has to take out Kane. That's something that has to happen. Effie was ready to take out Kane at any time she was like i will do it she was like she doesn't care but when it comes down to it Tariq was like we'd have to wait on that now personally between you and me the way things were set up you know kane is kind of a character who he's he's around and he's like one of the biggest characters right now everybody loves him he's a power character me personally i hope he, if, if he has to leave he if he has to go i'd love to see him go and get his own spinoff series personally um with him instead of him dying or anything of that nature even though he's a character that pretty much everyone wants to die because he's technically like a character it's like he's like dre in some ways except you know he's not on no snitch tip but he's like kane in as well so it's like a mixture with with um kane it's like you like him and then you don't like him but at the same time when it comes down to it him and effie um Tariq and effie um were talking about taking kane out now um taking kane out would this be a focus of season three kane has been a big problem for Tariq ever since Tariq has been there i even said that kane is technically Tariq's karma for a lot of the stuff that he's been doing in book one so basically what's going to happen here, I think is that I think Kane getting taken out is something that's going to pretty much kind of happen in season three. If there was ever a time for it to happen, it would have to be in this season. Because for me, it seems like this season seems to be, it's got a feeling of things are going to be final. And what I mean by that is that where Tariq was having it so hard in season one and season two, the Tejada seemed to be the one that's going to catch it, you know, basically when it comes down to it. Because if you really look at it in season one, the Tejada's really benefited from Tariq, right? Um, then they, they, they did. And um, if you really look at it in season two, they benefited again because Lorenzo came back into the family. Mecca became an option for Monet. They did not fall apart plus they got money and everything they was rising up and everything so the Tejadas was having it good in season one and season two but when it comes down to it now it seems like season three is the karma not not saying oh Zeke was great you know Zeke getting shot was a good thing it wasn't but at the same time that was like the first blow to that family so when it comes down to it we are going to um that's pretty much the thing that I'm talking about there when it comes down to it um basically I think that with Tariq and Effie plotting to take out Kane, this is going to be something where, of course, this will play out more um, in season three. But at the same time, there's still the fact that um, Effie worked with Kane to take out Lauren. And we don't know what really happened when that happened. But that's pretty much what I got to say. Um, in regards to that, I just want to say to all of you that it is your boy, Bobby B's here. I just want to say much love, much respect, hold it down, and 
one. Hey, Shaboom. 